Okay, hello everybody, this is Mr. Robinson. Here I am on the banks of the River Nile in ancient Egypt. Uh, no, actually I'm not. I'm in my garden and I'm just about to have a go at making uh, a chef d'oeuf, which all of you will know by now is an ancient Egyptian machine, still used today, but it was used way back, um, way back when, thousands of years ago, to move water from Nile over to uh, a farmer's field so they could irrigate them. Now, I've already kind of set it up. As you uh, can see here, we have a, uh, a piece of wood, a stick, uh, in a in a V shape. I chose one with a V shape because the the long bit here, the long section of the of the shadoof, yeah, will sit quite neatly in it. Now I haven't tied it. Uh, that will probably be a mistake. It'll probably fall over. Here, uh, remember, it's got to be longer. The end that's poking out over the water attached to it is my bucket. The ancient Egyptians would have used something made out of uh, some kind of either waterproof cloth, uh, probably some kind of animal skin, but I'm using a petit falou yogurt pot, um, which I've had to put some tape around because it had a hole in it, but I've tried to make it waterproof. Here's my River Nile, a B&Q bucket, and over here uh, is a bag. Now I've tried to to imagine what the ancient Egyptians would have used. They would have used a bag and filled it full of rocks and stones. Now as you can see, it's balanced at the moment. It's balanced here. And what that means is, is that the, the bucket, yeah, or the yogurt pot that doesn't have any water in is about the same weight as the stones. Now what I'm going to try to do is fill it up with water, but, um, have a think, what do you think will happen to the yoghurt pot when it fills up with water? Is it going to become heavier, lighter, or stay exactly the same? Well, I'm going to have my first go at dipping the, uh, the bucket into the water. So let's see, what someone would do is pull down on the, the bucket into the, the river. They would then fill that bucket with water and then what should happen is that it should pull, they should let go and it should pull the, the, the water up. But as you can see, now that the, the yogurt pot is full of water, it means that it's heavier than the rocks here. So what I'm going to do is put more rocks in here to make sure that when it's full of water it pulls down. So this bag needs to be heavier than a yogurt pot full of water. So what I need to do at this stage is to put in more, well, more rocks in this case. So I'm going to make the bag much, much heavier. You guys will have to think about doing this as well. You've got to spend some time working out how heavy something should be. So this needs to be heavier than a really quite heavy now um, yogurt pot. So let's just put some more weight in. Got quite a few, got quite a few pebbles in here. Oops. Let's make sure my shadif doesn't fall apart. Right, that's a little bit heavier, but nowhere near heavier enough. So I'm just going to go back and get some more rocks. Okay, I've got a lot more weight to put in my bag now because it's still not heavier than a bucket full of water. So when you guys make your shadoof, you'll have to check that the weight on your bag is heavier than a full bucket of water. Okay, right, let's try putting these in. Now, the whole thing might fall apart, but well, there's a really, really big, really big stone in there. Let's see. Getting heavier, nearly heavier. Let's put some more in. A big uh, rock. Nearly. And let's, let's just wrap this around here to make it, whoops, to make it a little bit shorter so I can get more stones in. 
good. Now that's balanced. And if you can see there, if you just pull this back a little bit. Whoops. Sorry, problem with the tripod. So that's balanced there. So just going to have another little bit of a go. See if I can make it a tiny bit heavier. And then it'll be just the right weight. I've got an awful lot of weight in here now compared to the compared to the yogurt pot. And I think maybe one more. Whoops. Don't forget you can always change the balance of your of your shaduf to, to pull it up. So there you go, that's pulled the, the shaduf up. So it's heavier than the, the shaduf with water. Just about. So I can raise it out of the Nile. Right, let's have a go and see whether I can make this work. Okay, I've just set this up again. As you can see, I've now got it perfectly balanced. You've got the bag of rocks here, and you have a full pot of, if you don't believe me, to look don't know whether you can see that that is full of water. So it's perfectly balanced. That would mean that I would be able to swing my bucket around and irrigate my fields. So I'm going to empty the, the, the water out, like so. Hang on. Empty the water out, and then it will become much, much heavier. And it's even going to, whoops, fall apart. But that's all part of designing. I could, should have tied it here. So I'm going to have a go at tying it on there so it doesn't fall apart. Back in a minute. Now after a bit of trial and error and a tiny bit of an accident with my stick which broke off at one end but that's the whole point of trying and trying again being resilient year three. Okay I've tried again so now I have a very 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 heavy bag of weight here and I have an empty bucket now what I'm going to do is lift up the the weight putting just enough force to move the weight up, which should make the bucket drop into the, um, uh, well, my, my yogurt pot drop into the, the River Nile, use your imagination, and would hopefully fill up with water. So let's give this a go. If it doesn't work, I want to go back to the drawing board and keep on trying, because that's what designers do. And they keep on working until they got it. The ancient Egyptians didn't just invent this at the first try, they kept on trying and trying and trying again, okay? Right, let's have a go. Get maybe get more of it into the into the shot. Okay, fingers crossed. Let's give it a go. Okay, so you would lift up the bag and there's quite a rocking motion. You can see if you lift up the bag, it doesn't take that much force to lift up the bag. Drop it into the into the water. Let's give it a helping hand. Pick up some water. And then you release the bag. Just get the balance right. A little bit too far over. Release the bag. Oh, that's not bad. And it would pick the bucket up. You would then move the bucket over. Pour the water out. And then you would have another go. Just make that a little bit longer. You would have another go. Moving the bag up. Maybe my yogurt pot could be a little bit heavier. Let the bag go again. And it lifts up the water, the bucket. Put it over here. And once the bucket is empty again, you would lift up the weighted end. Fill it up with water. Let it go, and it would raise up the water, and you can put it there. And that is how the ancient Egyptians irrigated their fields using a shaduf. Okay? Why don't you have a go, see if you can make one better than this. You probably can.